Ryan and Sarah, marriage is the most important of all earthly relationships. It should be entered into with reverently, thoughtfully, and with a full understanding of its holy nature. Ryan, know that we've been praying for you for since Sarah was a young child, long before we ever met you. And we had people praying for us long before Laura and I ever met. And it was a beautiful thing. We have an expression in English that someone is as honest as the day is long. And my daughter fits that to a T. And what a joy it is for us to be able to know that that's who our daughter is. The Bible says, don't let the sun go down on your anger. In a marriage, that means don't turn out the lights if there's unresolved conflict. Well, Ryan, I got some really good news for you. For some people, this would be a hard thing, but not for Sarah. She's not argumentative, she's humble, She's quick to forgive and quick to ask for forgiveness. Sarah has been someone that I've been able to talk to about just about anything. She's a lot of fun. She has a great sense of humor, um, and I see you know, many of those traits complemented in Ryan as well. Um. That you will seek uh, first his kingdom, his righteousness. As you, you and Sarah, as you guys go through the highs and lows of marriage, um, as you guys demonstrate mutual sacrifice to one another, I hope that you see Christ first. I now pronounce you husband and wife. I'm so excited uh, to have another brother um, and to welcome you into our family. So if you all could join me in uh, raising a glass to, uh, to Ryan and Sarah. We also want you to know just how proud we are of you. And Ryan, we're so very glad that you are part of the family now. You're a wonderful man and I want you to know that it is a difficult thing for a father to walk his daughter down the aisle but it was made much easier knowing you were the man at the end of the, end of the aisle that she was going to be marrying. 